In this video, we'll use OpenShift virtualization to create a virtual machine connecting directly to an external network, not using the SDN. This means that it can be managed in a traditional way by SSHing or RDPing into the guest operating system directly. First, from the GUI, we'll start with Create from Wizard. We'll select our Fedora 33 template virtual machine and hit Next. Accept that this is a community temp supported template. That's okay, I created it. We're going to change our virtual machine name to reflect what we want. And then I want to customize our virtual machine. From here, I can set many different options inside of here. For example, if I wanted to change the amount of CPU and RAM associated with it, I could do that from here. I'm going to modify our network configuration. I'm going to connect it to this second network attachment definition. The CNV-BR1 was created by the administrator, by me, that allows me to connect to a bridge network device on that secondary network adapter on our underlying nodes. I'll click Save here. If I want to adjust other th properties, such as the, boot, the root disk or the boot disk, I can create a custom script for Cloud init. I'm going to use a very simple Cloud init template just to set a password inside of our virtual machine. With that, we can review all of the decisions that have been made so far and create the VM. In our list here, we can see our other virtual machine already running and the newly created Fine Porpoise in the starting process and now running. Switching over to the console, we see that the virtual machine has begun booting. I'm going to accelerate the video now so that we don't have to wait for the boot process to finish. After only about 15 seconds of real time, we see that our virtual machine has fully booted and CloudInit has done its role. We'll go ahead and log in and check our IP address. We can see that it was given a 10.0.101.107 IP address, which puts it onto the external network. So let's switch to a console. So from our console here, we are going to ping directly that virtual machine. We can see that we connect to it very quickly. And additionally, I can SSH to that node if I so choose. And I am connected into our virtual machine from externally. So very quick, very easy. We can connect our virtual machines. We can create our virtual machines just like a traditional hypervisor. If I choose, I could add another network interface to this virtual machine that connects to the SDN. I can have it be on both, so that way I can provide connectivity for traditional administrator or application-based access, as well as SDN-based access for other containerized pod-based applications running inside of OpenShift. I hope this video has been useful for you. Please watch the channel for additional content if you are interested in more. Thank you.